What I really love about this landscape is that it was very well designed with the seasons in mind. You can find something of beauty and of wonder year round. For me, it's the contours, the surprises around the corner, the colors, and it's meticulously cared for, but it's also allowed to be wild. There's just never not a surprise on this campus. The Wellesley campus is unique in a lot of ways, and one of those is the really large diversity of different types of habitats that we have on campus. We have a lake, obviously, we have ponds, we have streams, we have forests and meadows. There's just a huge diversity of different types of habitats to investigate. As a studio artist, the materials that are available, whether it's invasive grass like Phragmites or working with the grounds crew and you know using fallen trees on campus, um, in the making of art. I teach classes outside on the regular. I'm happily uh, housed here in Alumni Hall, and so I have access to this beautiful amphitheater, and I try to get out here <laughs> whenever I can. It really is sort of a liberating factor this year for us to be able to be out in the landscape and playing in and among all of the different spaces that we've uh, determined to create little mini pieces in. So I really love being able to use the, the beautiful Wellesley landscape as a, sort of a living lab um, for my students and to be able to have this place that's right outside of our doors, to take the things that we're learning, the concepts that we're learning in class, the things that we're reading in class, and really see them come alive in the landscape. We use the landscape as material, we use it as subject matter, as a place for creation or making installation, as a site for analyzing the site and the history, and then also just enjoying the spontaneity of it. I teach photography and the landscape offers a very unique sensory experience. It allows them to engage in all of their senses, sight, touch, and sound. The students are really paying attention to the quality of light, the way that it casts shadows, the way that it might dapple through the leaves of trees. And so it's a really lovely way of integrating the outside world with the creative process. The Wellesley landscape is a huge opportunity for our students to think about themselves embedded within nature and as people that are interacting with nature sort of on a daily basis. Um, students experience this when they walk to and from their classes and that's one of the things that I sort of hope to do in my classes is help them notice even more. It allows us to consider the dynamics of color and shape and sound it's a place to stimulate the brain through meandering and allowing that great sort of bilateral stimulation that a good walk outside will offer you when you're trying to solve a problem. And theater is all about problem solving in practice. So it really helps to have access to inspiring places to just think through what needs to be done. I think it really helps students sort of slow down and understand that the creative process is really at its core, it's a practice of seeing and paying attention. And I think that the landscape and being outside helps us with that. It helps to make connections between sort of the living and the non-living world, thinking about the connection between climate and then living organisms, and sort of seeing those connections within this larger world of complexity. If we think about ecosystems are really complicated, there's lots of things that are interacting. The landscape offers something that the classroom doesn't in the sense that you never know what's gonna happen. Like right now I can hear that bird in the background and the classroom doesn't have seasons, but the landscape, the campus does, and that's one of the great things. You know, sometimes I can tell in the classroom that we've hit a wall or students are, they come in and they're tired or they're stressed out. And if we go outside, the whole mood, the whole tenor of the class is changed for the better. To know a place, I think you walk a place every day and I've walked this place for years and years and years, but to still get to discover things on this campus every day makes me very happy. <laughs>